Welcome everyone to Prairie Girl Rocks. Today we're gonna cut some meteorites and I have two meteorites here and they're both unclassified Northwest Africa stones. This one is highly weathered and I don't see necessarily any exciting external features. So I don't really know what to expect from this rock. Honestly. This one on the other hand does have some exciting external features. Let's just start with these st sticky outy chondrules. Um, next thing that we would wanna look at is, oh well, this huge chondral that's sticking out here. And there's one more that's really exciting. It's always, it's all on this side. There it is. And that sticky outy chondral there too. There, all of those features are on this side of this stone. So I'm going to, to cut a large end cut so that I have this nice specimen piece when I'm finished. But before we cut these stones, let's just check the magnetic attraction of these stones. There's definitely some magnetic attraction here. I mean, it's, it's enough to draw the magnet, but not really hold it but I don't see a lot of chondrules on the outside of this. So I wonder if the metal and everything in here is just melted and smooshed and mushed together. If instead of little metal blebs, we'll get like melt veins through this rock, I bet you. Hmm, maybe. We'll see. Ooh, there's a kind of sticky spot. Let's try this one. It's slightly more attracted to a magnet, which is exciting to me. Wow, right there especially, there must be a big bunch of metal right there. That's actually really exciting to me because it shows so many chondrules. So I'm really, really excited about this stone over here. Well, it crumbled quite a bit as we cut it. There were some pieces that came off. Um, and as I suspected with this meteorite, there actually was not a lot of metal in it. But there's a nice chondral right there. It is really weathered. Actually, a couple of nice, there's some really small ones under here, down there. Those will be fun to look at. What's on the other side? Also some nice chondral stuff happening there. Very crumbly meteorite though. And very little metal.
I used to run this saw quite a bit. It was my only saw. And so I plasti dipped the little knobs because before I knew it, my fingers were just sore. Oh, this meteorite is gonna be so freaking pretty. Okay. I wanna say too, before I just go to cutting this and it's gorgeous on the inside that if I'm lucky enough for this to be gorgeous on the inside, it's a result of lots more practice looking at meteorites than that last one. The, the first one we cut on the video today was one of my early est larger pieces that I ever purchased, you know, hand stone size pieces that I'd ever purchased. And, um, it was affordable and it's a great little education piece and we got really lucky that there were visible chondrules inside. However, this piece, I can really see a lot of chondral action and things happening on the outside of this piece that I would be surprised if this was a boring meteorite on the inside. This is going to be, I think, a little bit nicer than that last one and the reason is again educated purchasing i've got a little better eye now than i did when i purchased some of the first meteorites i purchased and uh, we're about to see the result of that hopefully fingers crossed we hope it's beautiful and so worth worth uh putting it on the saw Also, before I get started, even though meteorites have metal in them, they are joyfully softer to cut than things like Montana agate and petrified wood and shirt and things. Um, some of them are a little more difficult, but as far as stony, stony meteorites go, they're usually pretty joyfully easy to cut. stone that was a little bit more magnetically attracted than the other side of this stone and we can clearly see why wow i wonder if we would even call that a dual litho lithology oh my goodness i'm excited to grab some more cuts off of this okay one side clearly has a crap load of metal in it and the other side is just loaded in beautiful chondrules what the heck oh my goodness oh my goodness i'm so absolutely deeply tickled right now i am just about brought to tears that was one of the nicest meteorites i've ever cut i'm so glad i picked this one. Oh my goodness i'm absolutely in love and we're scooting this over and taking another slice just as soon as I get myself 
together. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this rock. I love this. beautiful stone <laughs> oh my goodness I just cannot get over it oh it's pretty fragile it wants to break on those contraction cracks so goodness gracious let's drop it again as we admire how absolutely stunning it is All the metal concentrated to the one side of this meter. It Well, not all of it, but the vast majority of it. And then an abundance of chondrules on the other side. What a stunner. What a winner. I am so thrilled. Wow, man, the chondrules down in that metally part, the chondrules up in the top part, like, wow, I just can't believe how cool this is. Wow. If I cut it too thin, it'll fall apart. If I cut it too thick, I'm wasting good real estate. possibly missing interesting things man there's armored cornrows in there and everything 
What an awesome little stewage. Wow, man. What an absolutely beautiful piece of meteorite. Oh, I'm just so stinking tickled. So stinking tickled. Oh my goodness, I just love this stuff. This stone is so pretty. And the end cut here, this one's for me. This is my piece. My very beautiful meteorite.